What's up, gang? Welcome back to TPTV. We about to do a reaction to the song Your Massey shooting. Uh, just the body cam footage. So make sure y'all get them likes up and subscribe. Share the video out. I ain't gonna do too much talking. Just get straight into it. I play the video. Matter of fact, I'm gonna react to. I'm gonna uh, read y'all with with Sonya Massey. A lot of y'all don't know what Sonya Massey situation. It's a woman that was in Illinois that called the police, and when the police came, they came inside the home and uh, was asking for ID and stuff like that. Uh, Sonya Massey is a 36 year old woman that uh, she seemed to be calling the police because she said something about a intruder was breaking into her home or something. But she seemed like she kind of hallucinated a little bit. I'm not sure though, but I want to know what y'all think. Do y'all feel like the police was wrong in the situation or was Sonya Massey wrong in the situation? Because right is right and wrong is wrong. But uh, Sonya Massey is, uh, hold on, let me just read this, what it said. Body cam, body camera footage showing the fatal police shooting of Sonya Massey, a 36-year-old black woman who had called 911 for help, was released Monday in a case that has led to murder charges against a deputy. The 36-minute video released in Illinois State Police includes body cameras footage from each of the two San Sangamon County Sheriff's de Deputy who responded to Massey's house after midnight on July 6th. After Massey called 911 to report a possible prowler at her home in Springfield, according to a court document filed by prosecutors. In the footage, Deputy Sean Grayson and another deputy speaks calmly with Massey in her home when she goes to the shop when she goes to the stove to turn when she goes to the stove to turn off a pot of boiling water she then picks up the pot and the other deputy steps back away from your hot steps back away from your hot steaming water he says i re, i rebuke you in the name of jesus she says in response huh the deputy says i rebuke you in the name of jesus she repeats you better fucking not or i swear to god i'll fucking shoot you in the fucking face grayson says that's the cop he then draws his firearm and points it at her and she ducks and says, I'm sorry, while while lifting the pot, the video shows. Drop the fucking pot, both deputies yell. <clears throat> Three shots are heard. After a few seconds of silence, one deputy says shots fired and calls the emergency medical service. Dude, I'm not talking. Dude, I'm not taking fucking bullet water, water to the fucking head. And look. It came right to our feet, too, Grayson says. Minutes after the shooting, Grayson speaks to another law enforcement figure. She had boiling water and came at me with boiling water. He says in the video, she said she was going to rebuke me in the name of Jesus and came at me with boiling water. CNN has sought comments from Grayson's attorney. That's crazy. The release of the video comes about two weeks after the fatal shooting and just days after Grayson was charged in her death. Grayson 30 was indicated by a grand jury last week on three counts of first degree murder and one count each of aggravated battery with a firearm officials misconduct. He has entered a not guilty plea and was denied pretrial release. According to court records, Massey is one of one of a number of black women who have been killed by police in their own homes in recent years, including Breonna Taylor and Atiana Jefferson in a new conference Monday afternoon, civil rights attorney Ben Crump, who represents Massey family, connected to death, connected her death to other cases of police violence against black people across the U.S. Until we get justice for Sonya Massey, we rebuke this discriminate, discriminatory criminal justice his system in the name of Jesus, he said. Video shows laid up in aftermath. Grayson did not active act Grayson did not activate his body camera until after he fatally shot Massey, according to charging documents. The other deputy had activated his body camera when he first arrived at the scene. The documents state, according to footage from the other deputy's body camera. The incident began with the deputies walking around Macy's yard and finding a vehicle with broken windows. They then knocked on the door and speak with her, and she struggles to understand and answer some questions about the vehicle and about herself. If she struggled to answer questions and stuff, then that should show the deputies and the police officers that aren't they supposed to be trained to pick up on if somebody has like a problem with 
like pretty much shows that they're not harmful, but they they like what's what's the word like when he when he kind of got a look uh you could tell something's wrong with the person, you know what I'm saying? But they need help. Uh <clears throat> let me see. But I'm just saying the legend that could have been in it, could have not been in it. It probably was nothing never really wrong with the lady. Like he said, the water came over to his feet. That's probably because after you shot her, the water spilled over there by your feet. But it still don't give you no reason, no justice to shoot nobody just because they says I just because they say I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. All this gonna do is scare people to not believe in their their God or their or, or what they brought up in their religion, especially when uh parents and grandparents and everybody that's being raised and they telling people they telling the children just rebuke the devil in the name of jesus and and then you see this as an example of what you get for rebuking them like come on no that's not right the gospel has the ultimate power and authority at the end of the day i don't care about nothing nobody else says as they speak in the living room the deputies know the pot of the pot on the lit stove and one says we don't need a fire while we're here massey gets up and turns off the stove and the shooting then follows immediately after the shooting the video record the video records Grayson telling his partner Massey would not need medical help. The other deputy says he's going to get a medical kit to help. But Grayson responds, nah, she's done. You can go get it, but that's a headshot. So he's bragging it indirectly, saying that's a headshot. Man, that dude deserve life in jail, rot in jail. Grayson later goes to his vehicle to get his own medical supplies when he gets back to the house. He asks if there's anything he can do, but it's told no. All right, I'm not even going to waste my, my med stuff then, Grayson says. Next, Grayson leaves the house and speaks to a group of law enforcement officers outside. Yeah, I'm good. This fucking bitch is crazy. He says, according to the footage in a news conference Monday, along with members of her family, Crump said Massey's had, had mental health challenges, but not aggressive towards the deputy. That's what I'm saying. You could tell she has some type of mental health uh challenges and you you act like this 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 makes me scared for my own damn aunt my mom and my grandma and shit you know what i'm saying because they black people to get older i mean he he he, he didn't understand it. he probably just looking at black because the way he reacted from the story i ain't really look at the body cam for the job i just look at that glimpse but he drawing the gun so quick off of, of hot water like she said sorry, and she also said she rebuked her, so she's not causing no threat. I don't see what he was so scared of. She needed a helping hand. He said she didn't need a bullet to the face. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's what probably we're gonna read that later. But yeah, let's get into the reaction. This is a 36 minute joint. I don't think I'm gonna watch the 36 minute joint. I'm gonna watch uh I'm gonna watch the other one. Seventeen minutes. Get right to it. Get hit that like button. Share the video, y'all. Get this out there. This this is definitely for self awareness. Sad situation. Y'all tell me who y'all think is right and wrong in the situation. I already got my own opinion, but I want to know what y'all think. Make sure y'all hit that like button and drop a comment after y'all set your situation. Let's go. This is the reaction video, body cam footage of deputy shooting Sonia Massey in Springfield, Illinois. Let's get the likes up. This must be right when they was right before they knocked on the door. I, I'm not reacting to the 36 minutes, I'm reacting to the 18 minutes and 55 seconds. So yeah, I think I heard another clip before this, but I don't think that other clip matters. It does matter, but we probably get into it. We have to, but right now we're doing 18 minutes. So let's 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 get into it. They're trying to turn the knob. Was he trying to turn the knob after he knocked? It seems like man, it could have been. They could have been the ones that that she probably heard outside her door the whole time.
There's a bike sitting back there. Where? Uh, on the back door. I don't know if it's hers. But... I don't love tapping. So much more. I wonder what she was doing. Very nice to make contact with her because someone threw a brick to her. You want to try and call her 17 back here and let her know we're out front? That should have been enough to show them that uh, something was wrong right there. Like, And then why, why would y'all just take it on a woman? Like, the woman don't show no threat or nothing. Like, she's sitting in there going fumbling through her pocket pocketbook. You mean to tell me hot water because she goes up to the turn of hot? Come on, man. That's bullshit. Yes, man. That's set up good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fun, right? You didn't see anybody out walking out with you? No, not when I came in. I didn't see anybody out with you. I hear a phone ringing and she's refusing to come to the door, so we're about to go tonight. Office. Uh, what did she say? She she started yelling. Oh Sheriff. She said, "What the fuck, son?" Office. She sounded like she was probably drunk a little bit, but that still don't give them no justice to act like that. They should have did their research on this lady before they even growed up. They just knew it was a lady and they scoping around the house. It's no threat yet. So why the fuck is y'all still being aggressive? I don't get it. Two houses down. I don't know what to say. I don't know, y'all. I don't think that um, report that they said on the document about her calling and saying it was intruder or it was prowlers around or something like that. That seemed like some false uh, excuse they made up just to put it inside the report or something. But if she was worried about that, she would have been ready to she would have been anxious to answer that door. She wouldn't have been at all aggressive. Like she don't know who that was. She probably just like she probably just was an old lady just. Not even old, she's 36, but she fell in or whatever. And and she's in her crib probably resting. It don't take that long to answer no door. So it seemed like somebody probably did a either uh, a prank call and it went wrong or something, or somebody set this whole thing up because they knew that she was gonna respond like this and, and they and they probably figured they probably figured they knew that this cop was racist, you feel me? And that's what it seems like. But I'm going to hold back right now. I'm just going off what I've seen on the clip on Instagram. But I'm going to see the whole 18 minutes, and I'm going to give you all my response. Uh, she was yelling inside. Stole hold on. You coming to the door or not? All right. Hurry up. Hurry up. Stop down, bud.
Sheriff's office. The one you called. What was that? Somebody else in the crib with her? It sounded like a man's voice. Oh, it hurts you. You called us. Okay, so what'd you hear? Um, somebody keeps outside my house. Uh, uh, please, uh, is this your car over here? Please, uh, please, uh, please. Is, is this your car over here? Uh-uh. Oh. Please, uh, please. That's not your black car in the driveway? Mm -mm. Oh. Well, we checked your yard. We walked around the whole block. Oh, that was a black car in her driveway? And she don't know whose car it is? What the fuck? We didn't see anybody. Uh -uh. Right? You know, we don't. I mean, we checked the whole area. There's nobody out please walking God. around. I know, y'all. Please, God. Please, God. I'm trying to get help, y'all. But... What do you need help with? Nothing. I just... Please, God. Please, God. Please. I don't know what to do. Do with what? Huh? What do you need help with? Nothing. I just wanted to see if I could help me. What do you want help with? Huh? What do you want help with? Uh, I heard somebody outside. Yeah, we checked your house. We checked your backyard. I walked all the way through all these backyards. We checked your front yard. We didn't see nobody. Yeah, so. Nobody's out here. You didn't see anybody? Nope. Nope. Oh. We checked the whole area. I wonder who was she texting in communication while she was on. While she, you see she was texting somebody. Who was she talking to at the moment? It take you so long to answer the door. Oh, I was trying to put on some clothes, sir. I'm sorry. I was trying to get I got you. All okay. right. Is there anything else we can do for you? Huh? Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Okay. All right. You doing all right mentally? Yes. Sure. My medicine. So it was nothing else that she wanted done, and it was nothing else that they was trying to do. What made them go inside the house? That's what I want to know. All right. That's not your black car, though. The SUV? Whose is it? You don't know? It's someone just parked it in your driveway? They brought it to my driveway. And just left it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's run back. Yeah. 19, I got a 20 Does anyone else live here with you? David Mary, 43556. You see? David Mary 43556. Five, Car backed up like that. She don't know what it is. Mm. Uh, yeah. You got a, a name? You can add your name real quick. Catch this. See who we spoke to. Okay. Yeah. Then you hear a bunch of fireworks going up too. What did she say to make them go in the house? That's crazy. What happened, man? That was they was about to leave, and then they went to the house. Come on, man. That's crazy. Yeah. This reminds me of the uh, Fat G situation, where he had a moment to leave to de-escalate, and then all of a sudden it, it does escalate. Only that cop knows what she said to make him want to go in the house because they was about to leave. And that's what we need to find out. Yeah. Got a room. It's a hoarder room. It ain't really too much. It don't look too. Don't look no, no threat. They, if it was, why ain't they shining light in there right? Okay, they shine their light in there. Check, they scoping the screen, uh, scoping, yeah, uh, they scoping the perimeter. They scoping the perimeter and she got a phone call. Why Why did they feel nervous? But I was coming for help from y'all. Are you there with me? They're here in my house right now. Okay, I'll let you go deep talk to them. No, hold on. Oh, that's the police officer. Uh, that's the police officer calling from the uh, station. Wait a second, wait a second, sir. You can hang up, Carlo. Okay. Hold on, you're there with the deputy. No, hold on, okay? You're going to hang out. For what? Uh, just one second, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Okay.
I got some paperwork. Can you grab that Bible, please? Yeah. Hey, I just need your name so we can get out of here. Has there, was there any damage previous to your car? Uh, previous, yeah. This woman believed in God a lot. She has Bible, everything, and asking God, uh, thank God and all this. I just don't understand why harm would be brought her way. Yeah, okay, what was the damage? A dent, I believe. Well, what about windows? Oh, that, it was something that happened earlier. Okay. Hold on, what did she say? Uh, windows. Yeah, it was. Okay, well, has there, was there any damage previous to your car? Uh, previous, yeah, it okay, was. What was the damage? Uh, well, she said that car wasn't her. Dent, I believe. Well, what about windows? Oh, that, it was something that happened earlier. Okay, perfect. Uh, what is your last name? Uh, Should not think about your last name. Okay. You're not in trouble. I just need to Massey. Huh? Massey. Yeah. You have an idea that. Why she? Why she fumble like that? Let me think. So much easier. I, I just need to get, just driver's license will do, and I'll get out of your hair. I want to show y'all my paperwork. I will what? Get your paperwork. What paperwork? Okay. I got some paperwork. Well, just get your ID. Well, let's get your ID test. first, and then one task at a time. Uh, she wanted to show the paperwork and they asked for the ID. Some, some may right, add it up right here. Okay. Maybe here, grab your ID for me. Okay. Your ID. One task at a time. So let's do an ID and then you can dig around for your uh, paperwork. I don't know where my ID is. You have that stack right there, maybe? One second. Check on her. Sure. I need this. Um, we don't need a fire. And if, and if the bull and water was such a problem, why ain't they just turned it off? I don't get that. Like, why didn't y'all just turn it off? Y'all felt like she was going to be a threat to go turn it off herself. It ain't making no sense, man. Somebody let me know in the comments what y'all think about the situation. Right. How did she get around them that fast? Let me see. Okay. <laughs> Are you going? Huh? Away from your hot steam and water. Away from my hot steam and water? Yeah. Oh, I was a beautiful in the name of Jesus. I Hold on. She said. You better fucking not. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot you in your fucking face. Okay, I'm sorry. Drop the fucking pot! The fucking drop the fucking pot! 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 Oh, hold on. So she, so she went to hold on. For your uh, paperwork. I don't know where my. All right. Let me do this. One second. Check on her. Oh, she jumped up to this. get the wood. We don't need a fire while we're here. All right. All right. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Are you doing that? Huh? Away from your hot steam and water. Away from my hot steam and water. Yeah. Oh, I was rebuking you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You better fucking not. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot you in your fucking face. Okay, I'm sorry. Drop the fucking pot. The fucking pot. Drop 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 the fucking pot. I don't know what to say about this one. This shit crazy. Bring emails now. We got a headshot wound to the female. Headshot wound to the female. 1078. Headshot. It was like he was aiming for the head right away. And he also said he was going to give her a headshot. The fuck? I was on. I was on. I'm gonna go get my kit. No, if you have shot, dude, it's your shot. You're done. You can go get it, but that's a headshot. Fuck. <clears throat> God damn it. God, fuck. Dude, I'm not taking fucking boring water in the fucking head. Hey, look, it fucking came right to our feet, too. God damn it. Fuck. God damn it. You good? I'm good. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Awesome. I don't understand why she would say a rebuke in the name of Jesus and they was telling her to put the bucket of water down. I mean, to drop it, whatever. 
this whole situation just seemed crazy, but he liked how the thing was saying. He said something about uh, the camera was turned off and it was turned on from the other body cameras. Why was that? Something ain't some. It's a clip in this old situation that's missing. Something is missing out of there from the time that she got the ID to the, from the time that she got up to go get the water. Something that was edited out there. It got the time. God, is that what you do, man? Fuck! You good? Yeah. Alright. Fuck. Well, I mean, you know, what else do we do? I'm not taking hot boiling water to the fucking face, and it already reached us. Fuck. <clears throat> Damn. They got a 52 in route? Yeah. Better fucking not. That's where I got. I'll fucking shoot Drake. Okay. Was she trying to throw it to him? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Was she really trying to throw it on him? They got a 52 in route? Yeah. She could have been under a spell or something. Something had her up. They ain't even checked back there to see what's going on. You better fucking not. That's where I got. I'll fucking shoot you in your fucking face. Okay, I'm sorry. Drop the I'm fucking sorry. pot. The fucking drop the fucking pot. Drop. The she already dropped the pot. What the fuck? Drop the fucking drop. The fucking drop. No, that's where I got. I'll she dropped. She face. she dropped it. Okay, I'm sorry. Drop the fucking pot. The fucking drop. Look, she dropped the pot right there. So why did he still shoot her? She said, "Okay, all right, sorry." If you look on right there, she let go of the pot. The pot's right there. She's down for cover. Why did they shoot her? What did she get back up and try to get it? Drop the fucking pot. The fucking drop the fucking pot. His arm is in the way. I can't really tell. Pot. Somebody in the comments, let me know what y'all think. Did she grab that book? Did she grab that water again? When she came back up, because you see she ducked down. When she's ducking down, she let go of the pot right there. She's covering her head. Fucking pot. We better find out. But this is slow. He dropped it. Right there, his arms in the way. She don't have no pot in her hand. Did she grab the pot again? Why would he keep saying that after he shot her? So the pot's not there. She had to go back up and grab the pot. That's crazy. What, what the fuck was going on? Why would she do that, though? Unless somebody took something out, a clip out from that part when she ducked down, and they told her to get back up. Something ain't making sense right here. Something just ain't making sense. Y'all leave me let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this, man. What is going on right there? Please feel me and let me know what the deal is. If y'all can't feel me on the comments, hit them like, so, share it so somebody else can jump up on my live stream, help me, because I think I'm going to go live on this on my next live. I'm going to talk about this. I want to know y'all input and let me know what y'all think. For real. Did she pick that pot back up and throw it at, or, or tempted to throw it at them? Because as you can see, when he told her the first time, she dropped, and the pot was still up there. 
and she had her hands over her head and she got down. But you see, the pot's not there no more. You feel me? But then again, he, they could have restaged this whole thing and came back in, and, you know what I'm saying? Allegedly, right? Made it look like a certain way. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know. That I know that pot on the stove and off the stove has a major key part in play in the, uh, the video. So somebody can wind this back and make, make sense out of this. Please leave me the comment. Let me know what the deal is. Bring in us now. We got a headshot wound to the female. Headshot wound to the female. 1078. Damn. Fuck. I was on. I was on. I'm going to go get my kit. No, the headshot, dude. She's she done. You can go get it, but that's a headshot. <clears throat> Straight headshot. That's fucking crazy. God damn it. God, fuck. I, dude, I'm not taking fucking boiling water to the fucking head. And look, it fucking came right to our feet, too. God damn it. God damn it. You good? I'm good. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Holster got Let her fucking just... God. There's nothing we can do, man. Fuck. You good? All right. Well, I mean, you know, what else do we do? I'm not taking hot boiling water to the fucking face, and it already reached us. <clears throat> I don't see the stove. I don't see the pot on the stove. So I mean, I don't know about this whole situation. They got a 52 in wrap? Yeah, 1078. And if she was, if that was her plan allegedly to throw some hot water on her how did she expect to get two officers that's how you could tell something was wrong with this lady something just ain't you know what i mean something was wrong with this lady mentally and these cops were supposed to recognize it and, and notice that that's what they're supposed to be trained to do they're supposed to train and and go about the proper procedures to de-escalate this whole situation especially with a person that has mental issues you feel me because you could tell that she got something going on with it not saying that that uh, she uh, that that any of them was wrong, but what is wrong is to take a life for no reason. This is wrong. Right here. Three eighteen. She's still breathing, but she's losing a lot of blood from the head. <clears throat> she was still breathing at this point. Now this is the part that don't make sense. If she's still breathing, and there's a chance that you could try to save his life. You heard the cop tell them, don't go get the help or none of that. Don't go get the medical. Why would you take it upon yourself to decide whether or not this lady could live or not? That's bullshit. If they knew that she was still breathing, it should have been every attempt there was to make. There should have been every attempt to be made that there is to be made to try to help and save her life, especially if you didn't mean to do it. I'll go get my med kit. I mean, go, go get it. Her, get your med kit. I mean, there's not much we can do. Now you want to get the med kit. <laughs> Fuck. This was a sheriff. Do we got any call history with her being 1096? They saying they was calling. Uh, he was asking, was there any type of history in the uh, residence where it being a 1096? Was it 1096? I forgot. Anybody know what that is? But that's what I think it's like. Was there some type of domestic dispute at the crib or mental illness or something? That's what they asking. That shit is crazy. I just don't understand. Why would they shoot this motherfucker? Why would they shoot him? 
Bob they shoot her in the head. Like he like he, it was like he had the whole thing trained. Like he just knew he was gonna shoot her in the head. He didn't even try to attempt to shoot her arm, shoot the pan out of her hand and up with just straight head shot. That's what's not making sense to me. And then he's asking, was there any type of uh uh what do you say, ten ninety six? I think that's what that means, but I remember officers used to say that shit before when they would check up on a patient or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But I think it means mental illness. Somebody let me know what that means, but uh, I know uh, what's that, 187 means. Uh, y'all know what that means. Everybody knows what that means, but y'all know officers use different uh, number numbers, codes for, for codes for them communication. If you be around them enough, or you've been locked up enough, you're gonna hear it, you're gonna hear it repeated, you know what I'm saying? But uh I think that's what he was asking. He was asking the uh the, the uh people down at the police station. This whole video is just fucked up, man. Cause it's like I don't know whether or not to go go with the wrong or the right with this joint. It looked like she she was trying to uh remove move the boiling water and then it looked like she was also trying to do something too, but I don't know. I, that shit is crazy. Like, but I do believe that they could have handled this whole situation wrong. I mean, uh, not wrong, but differently. Like, they ain't had a shooter in her face. You feel me? If they was gonna shoot somebody, they should shot him in the arm or some leg or something. Like, what the fuck? Just some bullet water? You gonna act like that? That shit crazy. That don't make no sense to me at all. I will explain why. Negative. This fast She's day. in the kitchen. She's in the kitchen. And he just said it like it was no more. Like she's in the kitchen. Like, come on, man. This is somebody's mom, grandma, all type of shit, sister, all type of shit. You. You just took a life. It ain't like you could bring her back. You just, she's in the kitchen. Come on, man. And you think this is going to be a legitimate excuse? Then they saying like, well, because, you know, police officers, all they got to do is say they felt threatened. But I'm just trying to figure out how did he feel threatened, like his life threatening? I don't, I don't, she didn't even have a grip on that. And if anything, when they first had her down, they could have just rushed her and tried to grip her. Like, how did she get back up to be able to get the pie? I mean, something added up. It's like a piece of this film or this video is just missing something. Just, just, Sergeant, uh, no, let's just chill out uh, here. Oh, yeah, this is the part I want to see. This is the part I want to see right here where uh, the other cops are supposed to be looking at him crazy or something. Just search right now. Are you guys secure? Yeah, we're secure. No, it's just her in the house. She's 1096. Uh, 1096. My fault. I thought it meant, uh, was it a history of crazy shit or something going on at the resident? But you see how these cops are looking at him? Like, they all looking at him like, damn, what is, what is, what would you do that for, dog? It, it's like they know he did something wrong. You see how they all looking? They looking bashful, like, damn, should we do, do we have to arrest him or what? This, cause they trying to figure out whether or not if they got to shoot this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Or is it really what he's saying it is? But I want to hear what they, I want to see how they act after he gives them an excuse. Is there anything you think we can do for? No. All right. I'm not even going to waste my Damn. I'm that stuff then. What did he say? Before that? Before. He said, he said, is there anything I could do for her? This is minutes after you done took her life. You said, anything I do for her, they ain't going to say, I'm not going to waste my my uh, meds. Like, you crazy, man. So, is there anything you think we can do for her? No. All right. I'm not even going to waste my med stuff then. You want to run down real quick? No, not yet. All right. House is clear. She was the only one. Where's the gun? No, she had a boiling water and came at me. He said, where was the gun? Now, let's see about it. You know what I'm saying? With boiling water. You shot her? Yeah. She said she was going to rebuke me in the name of Jesus and came at me with boiling water. That's what all this is. I was standing right here. All right. And that's where she's landed. 
All right. What the fuck? That's all you got to say? <clears throat> Me just nothing right now. Just hang out out there for me. Oh, Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I need to try and put them around the house if you guys can. But other than that, that's not good. Man, look at all these cops. They just looking at it like, what's going on? They probably already know something crazy. Man. Then again, they could have just been, you know what I mean, part of a play. It seems like a play, allegedly. Like, you know what I mean? Like, damn. Did he really fall for that? I don't know. Thank you, suspect. Me. <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't know what happened. <laughs> so we're so 50 cops out there. Uh, yeah, I'm good. This fucking bitch is crazy. <laughs> they let her, they let him say that. This fucking bitch is crazy. That's bullshit. Come on, man. They got to do better. <laughs> Uh, he's got tape. At some point, the cop got to be wrong. He got to be held accountable for what the fuck he did. I, I think I got a roll. I got some coming up. You got enough. If not, I got a roll. Then he got the nerve to try to get up out of there. Oh no, he said if you got do you have enough or not? Cause I got a roll. Okay, you got to roll the cross it. Like no running across the loose front here. Where do you want it? I just around the house. You guys can go inside. Okay. Red bottom. That's how y'all should have uh, uh, scoped the perimeter the first time when she was alive. Said it, sitting there uh, acting like you can't do your job as a cop, walking around with the plaza. You all, you all suspect, uh, suspect, scared and scared of the car being suspicious and all this and that. Go do your job and go check the shit, check the surrounding. That's good. Yeah. Uh, first got to the garbage cans. Yep. Y'all see how them cops is like on guard? Some of them not on guard. Some of them is. Some of them like for them to if this was a uh, a white situation. We ain't trying to make it white or black. But if this was another situation, you think these cops would be this relaxed? Like, yeah, this tense, like, not even tense, but they just relaxed, knowing, just taking his word over this. It's like it was already premeditated or something. You feel me? Yeah. They should at least be on guard. Like, I don't know who's telling the truth, or they don't know if he's telling the truth, or not have their hand near their gun or something, because this dude just took a life. Was he at? Inside with me? Okay. He's good. Yeah, that's my fault, man. I didn't know. I didn't know. It was no, dude, it's good. I, it fucking happened so goddamn quick that we didn't have time to fucking call shit out. That it was me and yeah, that's all we were. Shit. Out no, we're good. I think she set it up on purpose. You see how they all looking at him? That's so, great. This is what it is. I have fuck choice. Try not to move that bag. We'll take her out on a backboard so we don't have to Yeah, he's good, dude. I made sure he was good. Yeah, he was here for the whole thing. No, 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 no. We barely got missed. Okay. You barely got missed. When did she throw it? Because it only looked like the shit uh, fell when she, if she did grab it, it fell when she got shot. Hey guys, grab the backboard. Yeah. 
quiet on this one. Yeah, I know to bring the fire trucks out there. It's crazy, man. It's ridiculous. It don't make no sense. See what's going on with these comments. <clears throat> he worked at six different agencies in four years, and he had two DUIs. Why was he even a cop? So he worked at six different agencies in four years, and he had two DUIs, and he was a cop. Mm, that don't make no sense. Does make does make a good question though. Wasn't fit to be a cop. The reason very few Americans know who their sheriff is. Wasn't an AK forty seven band a former resident reserve deputy before he was fired after being arrested for DUI. Damn. Yeah, it's crazy. Nasty. Work for real, for real. Rest in peace. Uh, Sonya Massey for real for real and justice for Sonya Massey because that shit wasn't supposed to go like that anyway I don't give a fuck what she was trying to throw as long as it wasn't going to take a life and she it didn't even seem like she was, had a chance to throw it she was saying sorry down on the ground so like she probably was she probably was seeing something or just hallucinating but y'all should do your proper research on this situation and the household before you even went there and know everybody in the house before you even knock on the damn door frightening her or whatever the fact that it took it took some time for her to answer the door she just told you something something wasn't right but not no not no oh yeah we gotta kill her and all this and that because she got a bucket of water a hot bucket of water nine that shit crazy 46 year old cop here and handled a couple of hundred of such calls when he tells her that they've looked around and there's no power there we're done call is over back in the car and off to the next call not one reason to enter that home. When the boiling water came into play, time to back out of the room and wish her a good night. No reason whatsoever to stick around. If the rumors about multiple agencies and two DUIs are true, someone really screwed the pooch on the decision to hire him, and the AC will pay likely punitive, punitive damages. Okay, so that's what they sent. Yeah, I feel like the cop should have been left. Like he, it was like he was just was urgent, irking for something crazy. It, it was like he was lurking for something crazy. So let's say uh, she didn't throw anything, and if that's what they're worried about, they have plenty of room to back up and. Uh, Man, he didn't learn how to spell. And, and I think they're trying to say, diffuse the situation. She put both hands up and got on the ground. And he executed her. That's what I'm saying. It ain't making no sense, but it does seem like it's a clip that's like a little split couple. It's like a few. It's a clip in between the time that she got up. Before she got up from the ID to the uh, boiling water or either the clip from when she laid the bullet water on the stove from after saying she rebuked him and she got down on the ground and put her hands up but it's something missing off this movie and something was edited i'm telling you i could tell it was i do that in myself so i know it was she didn't throw anything on her nevertheless they were there and after he made her put it down she picked it up picked it back up and went to throw it pause it pause it and look at it she wasn't just standing back up she was she was got it and started to throw throw it she was sick i think after he he shot though was crazy they didn't handle that right basically let her bleed out and that's what i'm saying she, like it seemed like they wanted her to die bleed out and then want to waste the medical pack how the fuck you ain't gonna want to waste a medical pack ain't no wasting no medical pack on a life the fuck are they talking about man this shit ain't making no sense this shit is crazy, man. This shit is crazy. It was our lovely note to sarcasm. Sheriff Jack Campbell and Leslie Sean Grayson, the cop who murdered this woman, was only hired at our country sheriff office because his brother-in-law works for the force. Where do you see a pot being thrown? Not even a bit of remorse in this guy's voice after killing an unarmed woman in her own house. 
disgusting. That's what is disgusting. It's not even a bit of remorse in this guy's voice after killing an unarmed woman in her own house. That shit is nasty. And then I tried to say she threw the pot and boiled the water at him before she knew this up. Before he shot her, but she was unarmed. She threw the pot. She missed, and thus had no other weapon. The woman was mentally ill. The officer should have coped better. It is a case of murder. That's what I'm saying. Like they should have coped better because they could have. They should have been on the spot that something was wrong with this woman. Something was going on with her. What's this? This. Oh, that's that's the uh, press conference. It says, why are they treating her like that? Their energy was off from the jump. Imagine calling the cops and they're treating you like the suspect. That's what I'm saying. Like, shit ain't, that shit just ain't making no sense, y'all. Y'all need to let me know what y'all think about this, man. Let's let's read the rest of what uh, was said real quick. This is going to be a good one, though. It's crazy. So this was her right here. My son. It's crazy. I really wasn't gonna touch on this, but I was like, man, I gotta touch on it because everybody talking about it. I was I seen it when it first came out. I was like, just it just creates some situations you just don't even want to talk about till it's, it's, it then then it starts going viral. You have to like, man, you know what? I will put give my input. That must be her father though. It says Macy's father, James Wilburn, said he initially received conflicting information from the law enforcement. I was under the impression that a prowler had broken in and killed my baby. Never did they say that it was a deputy involved. So they must, they first told him, he said he was under the impression, the, the dad said he was under the impression that, I guess the cops was trying to string him along and say that it was a prowler that broke in. That's why they might've put the call out like it was a prowler. So that, that's a good, that's a good point right there. He said he, he was under the impression that it wasn't even a cop that killed him. It was somebody else that was prowling the call that she allegedly supposed to did. But it don't seem like she called about that. She probably called about something else. And they probably changed it around to prowling. You know what I'm saying? It's all allegedly too, y'all. I'm just saying. This I'm just putting it together. Y'all see me reading out. I'm going. I was under the impression that a prowler had broken and broken in and killed my baby. Never did they say that it was a deputy involved shooting until my brother read it on the internet. Wilburn said at the news conference. So they didn't even know till he read it, till the uncle read it on the internet. How the hell they ain't tell her that night? They was trying to keep it a, a secret. And it was a deputy at that. He's supposed to be, he's supposed to be uh, trained to do that shit or defuse that shit. We were led to believe that the intruder or someone from the neighborhood may have killed her. We were absolutely shocked to find out that it, it was a deputy who shot her. Wilburn told CNN's Laura quotes on Monday night. You're used to having the talk with boys, but now I guess we have to talk to our girls about their interactions with the police. Wilburn said, Wilburn said that his daughter death had left him heartbroken. Sonia was a daddy's girl. She never ended a conversation, whether by text or telephone or in person, without saying, Daddy, I love you. And that's the last message. I have for my daughter that saved on my voicemail was daddy i love you he said that's probably who she was talking to or her son i heard her son got in the press conference too we might do some more videos of that later but i'm not going through that. i'm just going to read the rest of this crump told laura quotes that her expected that he respect he expected the release of the video showing the heinous killing of the incident woman to galvanize the community it's so senseless i mean it is disturbing the video is reminiscent in the last presidential cycle in 2020 when the george floyd video you know encouraged our community to act and in this 2024 election i believe this sonia massey video is going to encourage our community to act because sonia massey deserved better than this crumb said hold on y'all let me put some music on this is going to be a nice little Man, nice little guy. Right 
Let's see, eight cents of the mean disturbing the video is rumors in the last presidential cycle in 2021, the George Floyd video. And in this 2024 election, I believe this Sonya Massey video is going to encourage our community to act because Sonya Massey deserved better than this. She did. Definitely did. Let's see. Let's Officials criticized deputies' actions. Since the shooting, local and state officials have criticized the deputies' actions as an unjustified use of deadly force. So that's what they're saying. They're saying it was an unjustified use of deadly force. It is. A review of the Illinois State Police investigation into the shooting does not support a finding that Grayson was justified in his use of deadly force. The state's attorney for the county, John what did it say? John Miller, John, John Miller said in June, July 17, new releases, new release in a court document filed by the state last week. Prosecutors said a use of force expert had reviewed the body camera footage and, include, and concluded the use of deadly force was not justified. So they saying the use of uh, they saying they saying in a court document filed by the state last week, prosecutors said a use of force expert had reviewed the body cameras footage and concluded the use of deadly force was not justified. They saying it's not justified. The expert likened the scenario to an officer intentionally and unnecessarily, intentionally and unnecessarily putting himself in front of a moving vehicle and then justifying use of force because of fear of being struck the prosecutors wrote so the prosecutor said <clears throat> the scenario to an officer intentionally and unnecessarily putting himself in front of a moving vehicle they're trying to relate it to something like that and then justifying use of force because of fear of being struck the prosecutors wrote pretty much saying he brought himself inside it that position inside the crib and then he's trying to use it for excuse to get out that's that's not uh justifiable sheriff's office said it has fired grayson it is clear that the deputy did not act as trained or in accordance with our standards obviously now if it wasn't if it was nothing wrong with what they did right this is what i gotta say about something. if there was nothing wrong with what grayson did this cop then why the family why did the father not find out about this whole situation why did the father not he said he, he said he did not find out about the situation and he thought that it was a uh, intruder or somebody from the neighborhood that killed his daughter i mean later on they should have told him that night but why did he have to go on the internet and find out from his brother later on on the internet that the cop was the one that the deputy cop was the one that killed his daughter Instead of saying saying it to him later on that night, like girl, we shot her by accident, showed her the video, showed her the video. They was worried about something. Something they was trying to cover up. You feel me? It wasn't no something. It shows what it was, matter of fact. Effective policy comes down to good judgment and highly. CNN experts offer similar analysts. Effective policies come down to good judgment and highly stressful situations, said Josh Kim. CNN's uh, security correspondent and former federal agent, although facing through, although being dosed with scalding water, could warrant the use of deadly force by an officer to stop a threat. In this video, we certainly do don't see officers attempting alternative alternative options, such as moving away and creating distance between yourself and mode and mass. That's what I'm saying. Like, why didn't they make a alternative option and create some type of distance and walk away? That's that's what I'm trying to figure out. There were a number of ways to avoid this startling with better uh tactics from the outside. Exactly from the outset. He said CNN chief law enforcement. Now the chief of the uh law enforcement for CNN says there's way more better ways that this officer could avoid it and exactly and this officer is a deputy chief 
chief deputy of the police in Illinois and he handled a situation like that, he could have handled this shit way better. He deserved to be locked up. This bullshit, for real, for real. Grayson had worked at six different law enforcement agencies in Illinois since 2020, so it is true. He worked at six different law enforcement agencies. I wonder what the fuck he must have did in them other six. In six different agencies since 2020, that's 21, 22, 23, 24, that's in four years you work at six different ones. What the fuck happened? That speaks, that speaks for it itself. Illinois Law Enforcement Training and Standards Board. He began working part-time at the Pawnee, shop, Pawnee Police Department in August 2020, then moved to the Kinsey and Verdon Police Departments before taking up full-time work with the Auburn Police Department, then the Logan County Sheriff's Office, and in May 2020, San Sanagamon County, my fault if I'm not pronouncing it right, but what it's saying is he's been in six different agencies within four years, bouncing around, and he pretty much like a temp, temp to hire police. Why the hell was he answering doors in the, in the ghetto? It seems like they just throw anybody out there. It is unclear why Grayson changed jobs so frequently and CNN has reached out to the other law enforcement agencies for more information, training and standards for the record. records to show his law enforcement certification. The training and standards board records show his law enforcement certification has since been suspended. A petition calling for an investigation into why Santa, Santa Gemma County hired Grayson was circulated at a march barbecue in Springfield on Monday night, CNN affiliates. So they had a barbecue on Monday night to see why Grayson was, uh, why he was even hired. Several hundred people attended the gathering in honor of Macy. It was very powerful just seeing all of those people come out from our community, different ages, different races, different sexual orientations all come together for one cause, which is to get just for some you may see work out together. That's good. That's what's up. So they had young people and everything come out for this shit. That's what's up. I had I am heartbroken for her children and her entire family as they face this unthinkable and senseless loss. Jill and I mourn with the rest of the country and our prayers are with the Sonia's family, loved ones, and community during this devastating time. Biden said in a written statement, that's what Biden said in a written statement, that's what he said, I command the swift actions that were taken by the Springfield State's attorney office while we wait for the case to be prosecuted, let us pray to comfort the grieving Congress of the past George Floyd, Justice, Justice, and must pass the George Floyd Justice and Poli, Poli, Policing Justice and Policing Act now on fundamental commitment to justice is at stake. The president added. So they enforced the George Floyd Justice uh, Police Policing Act. That's why the cop got locked up right away. Because otherwise, he probably would be out until they found something uh, on him. Illinois Attorney General Kwame Rao issued a statement Monday saying the footage was horrific and offering his sympathy to Massey's family. As the community reacts to the release of the footage, I urge calm as the matter works its way through the criminal justice system, he said. In Illinois, we have made sure that the law mandates independent investigations after office involved shootings. In this matter, it appears that the investigation by the Illinois State Police and the subsequent referral to the Sangamon County State Attorney Office have complied, have complied with the letter, have complied with the letter and spirit of the law by providing the appropriate trans transparency and move toward accountability. And that's crazy. That's a fucked up story. It's real sad, yo. So yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all feel like do y'all feel like 
there should definitely be some justice for uh hold on. I feel like um, there definitely should be that's Sonya Macy, man. But I feel like the cop was wrong. I feel like the cop, the cop was right. What do y'all feel like? Let me know what y'all, let me know what y'all think, so I could be able to come up. Uh, right, right now I just stand. This, this is, this is, this is horrible. This is, this is ridiculous. Should no cop be doing no shit like this? And he, I feel like he should definitely handle this whole situation with better precaution. Especially if he was a deputy chief or deputy cop, he should know how to handle it. But we all, well, we could tell from what they're saying, he's been in six different agencies within four years. So that's speaks for itself. Something to decide, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe and drop y'all comments in the situation. Hit that like button. Share the video. Share the video. Hit that like button. And subscribe and support the channel. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Rock or trenches politics, Stephen Only politics. Rip uh Sonya Mason at the end of the day. I'm like that's what Sonya Mason. Meantime, between time, that cop needed to ride in jail. think though about this man do y'all feel like uh the dad is telling something that the world ain't paying attention to i feel like the main key point of this thing is why did they try to cover it up why did they try to cover it? ask yourself why did the cops cover it up why didn't they tell that cop why didn't they tell the father and the family what happened and the cop killed him why did they say why did they lead them to believe even they didn't say why did they lead them to believe that neighborhood or a prowler did it it probably wasn't even no call or a prowler that's probably something that they put on her to make it seem like the story adds up to this or whatever you know what i'm saying but in the day we're gonna see the time as time get through you feel me this all allegedly what i'm saying we're gonna see through as time get through what the, as the story unrolls as the story unfolds and who who's telling the truth who's not you feel what i'm saying but if they like when scratch it down salute appreciate y'all thank you I appreciate all my subscribers. All my, my run this joint up, y'all. Let's get it. Let's go. Give me three thousand. I appreciate y'all. Love you. One.